Good afternoon. This is Dave with uh, a daily edition of the daily, with a bi-weekly edition of the Daily Blooms. Uh, I've been busy for oh, about a little over a week. I didn't get to one yesterday. Um, I have a new little pet, Dachshund, that's been taking a lot of time getting acquainted with her. She's only nine weeks old, and we'll show pictures of her at a future date. But right now, we're going to look at my Dracula that I got from Edgar at um, Windswept and Times um, at the uh, sale, Genesee Region Orchid Society sale. It wasn't spike when I got it. The one spike has died on it right here, as you can see. But the other one has come through. If I can get it opened up so you can see inside of it really kind of cool. See the little monkey face? <laughs> this is a Dracula Vampira. Very nice one. Very nice bloom. Is a sequential bloomer I believe off from that spike. Uh, as a matter of fact I think I broke the first bloom off but it shot up another one. You can see where the first one was there on the stem that I accidentally broke it off and then it sent this other one out. So that is my first Dracula bloom. I have several of them um, through here. Uh, they, they're staying pretty good. They don't look too bad. I keep them in here where they get watered twice a day and uh, uh, nothing else appears to be in bloom or in spike. Maybe this one down here might, but I don't know if they're going to make it or not. They will probably do better. The Dracula's will probably do better when I get them inside in the greenhouse where I can control the uh, humidity. And Anyway, at least I got this one out here to bloom. Also, there's another Catlia. It's opened up in bloom since I brought it out. Uh, up here, we have a... Uh, one of the orchids that I got from uh, uh, Ken, yeah, Ken Ramsey, uh, that came in bud, uh, it has gone on ahead and and grown, and uh, the buds have opened. This is the first opening of this one. You can see they open up, kind of greenish, and then they turn more whitish. There are several orchids that seem to do that. Uh, down through here we have some others that are in bloom. This is everything is out of the greenhouse now, and the masterbellias, the mounted ones, some of them are still blooming nicely. Uh, here's some here that are nicely blooming. You can see and they're mounted. I really seem to have pretty good luck with my mounted. Master areas. I just, uh, you know, there's a, a guy that just had advertised a collection of 16 of them that he was getting rid of them. He didn't care for them anymore after having them for a year, and uh, I'm expecting that order on Saturday. Uh, I bought all 16 of them. Uh, here's some air plants. They're doing nicely out here under the shade tent. This one's got a nice little red tin on it, letting me know it's getting good sun. I had to move my one Tulumnia back in under the shade house because the leaves are starting to get too red again, which is telling me it was getting too much sun out there where I had it. So uh, we brought it uh, 